G'day. Here we have a decidedly unpleasant looking integral. We can see that it involves a fraction, we can see that it involves exponential functions. And hopefully, one of the first things you will check since there's a fraction is to see what the derivative of the bottom will bring you. Well, if we if we include the square root sign, we're in a little bit of trouble, but if we look at the contents of it, the derivative of x plus e to the x is 1 plus e to the x, which is what we have on top. So it's very close to being a log logarithmic pattern, but it's not, which means that it's almost certainly a power pattern, some, something to the power to some power. Now, I have shown you a pattern to analyse this, but actually I will show it to you. I was going to show it purely by substitution. You can see I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, what we're trying to look at is when you have the derivative of some function to a power, sorry, let's write this larger. When you have a derivative of some function to a power, we get n f to the x n minus 1 times f dash x. That's what we get. And if we move the dx up here, we get, I'm going to reverse these, f dash x, fx to the n minus 1 dx. And if we integrate the integral of the derivative undo each other, and this is the solution we get. That's the pattern we're after. Now, there's our derivative, and here's our function to a power. Let's put it in that form. I'm going to leave a little gap for numbers. So I'm going to put 1 plus e to the x. That's our derivative. I'll keep it underlined. And then we're going to write our function, x plus e to the x to the power of half dx, actually power negative a half, because it's on the bottom. And you are running out of space here. How does that pattern compare with what we've got? Well, we have a function to a power, we've definitely got that. We have the derivative of the function in front of the function, the derivative of this is that. All we need to get is this number right. So we need a number here, which is one more than that. What is one more than a half, than minus a half? It's plus a half, and to compensate, we multiply by two on the outside, because two times a half is one, and multiplying by one won't change the value. That pattern is exactly the pattern we want, so the answer is going to be two times this is the result of the integral. The function to the power n. The function x plus p to the x to the power of half plus c. I wasn't going to do that, but that's probably worth showing. Let's uh, draw a line there and let's do it by substitution. which would have definitely been the way I was taught at school. Because this is a complicated bit here, uh, breaking up anything inside a radical or a third is uh, awful. So we substitute, let uh, x plus, or let u equal, uh, x plus e to the x. So we have du dx, will be 1 plus e to the x and that means du equals 1 plus e to the x times dx. Using that information we get the following 1 plus e to the x oh, times dx, that times that is this times this. That's exactly what we have. So all of that top part gets replaced with a du. 
so we leave, leave a 1 there. And this bottom part, the x plus e to the x is worth u, so we get the square root of u. This is a much simpler looking integral. So this is the integral of u to the negative half du, which is, if we, this is just the power of u, so we add 1 to the power and get u to the half over 1 half plus c. Uh, we've run out of board, so I'm going to head across. Dividing by a half is like multiplying by 2. And if I put resubstitute for the u, I get two lots of u is worth this. And there is the same result uh, by using substitution. Now, subs don't get me wrong, substitution is a very good method, and uh, with quite a variety of integrals, it is necessary, absolutely necessary to do. Uh, but sometimes, if you recognize a pattern where you need the derivative out the front and you need this number one more than that, sometimes the pattern will help you get there a lot faster. So is it worth learning the pattern, or is it worth being able to derive the pattern very quickly? I'll leave that for you to decide. Uh, both methods are good, and both are good to practice. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this work, and I thank you very much for watching.